Tony Harvin Network YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here. After you hit the subscribe button, if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell. What's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to my YouTube channel, my secondary YouTube channel. I greet everybody um, upon this evening. This here is our regular conversation number 40. Regular conversation number 40. We'll be here to talk about is the music entertainment industry being exposed? You know, we see a lot of more stories that's coming out in reference to, you know, certain individuals and the entertainment business itself um, being exposed. So this here is regular conversation number 40. Y'all know my disclaimer, I'm not a pastor preacher. I don't hold any type of office in a church. I'm not here to violate any type of community guidelines, any type of copyright infringement um, at all. All right, shout out to everybody in the chat room. Those who are going to catch this live right now, those who are going to catch it in the middle, and those who's going to catch it um later to read the replay and whatnot. So uh excuse the blurriness. So somebody uh recently, um I don't know what's going on. Forgive me, please forgive me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so somebody on my Facebook um and whatnot, what's going on? Somebody on my Facebook uh, announced that uh, it was this DJ out of New York, uh, Mr. C. I just seen it. Uh, he passed away. Mr. C. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, some people know Mr. C from uh, the radio station Hot 97 um, and whatnot. Um, a DJ who got caught years ago. Uh, from picking up prostitutes <laughs> and being arrested and the prostitutes wasn't regular woman. You understand that? And he didn't get caught not one time, but on several occasions um, and what have you. And then uh, to himself, he decided that was going to be his lifestyle, uh, you know, going that way. You know what I mean? Uh, despite all the embarrassment that he caused on him and his family, he decided that, you know what, I'm just going to come out and I'm just going to live my life like this, uh, Mr. C. And I, I see people putting up rest in peace and rest in heaven <laughs> and whatnot on my Facebook, on my timeline about Mr. C and what have you. Where was y'all at when Mr. C was in all this mess? You understand? Where was, where was, this, where was the same energy at? When Mr. C got arrested for picking up prostitutes. You understand? So some people are familiar with Mr. C, a New York DJ, uh, who came up with uh Big Daddy Kane and was behind the scenes with Biggie Smalls and whatnot. You understand? All right, let me shout some people out. What's up to uh Courtney M? Shout out to you. What's up to um Nicole Martin, one of my channel moderators? Hope all is well. Appreciate that. <clears throat> um, who else? What's up to um Christopher Spin, another one of my channel moderators. Shout out to you. What's up to Heat? You says blood contract is required on paper sign if you're gonna make that much money. I promise everyone on the chat you have to participate in rituals. Well, I mean, I don't know. That part I don't know because. I'm not sure if, you know, people would count boxing contracts. I'm not sure, you know, because I've seen uh, some boxing contracts and whatnot that was laid out for me. And um, you don't have to go through those type of rituals or whatever the case may be. I think, you know, I think it's more so for those people who just craving to be famous and popular, like just quick. You know what I mean? Or, like you said, uh, the amount of money. Can you make that amount of money without, you know, participating in those rituals? Yes, you can. You know what I mean? But a lot of people want the easy route, the quick way. They don't want to work hard and things like that. They don't want to do the work. You know what I mean? So, like you said, when they got contracts like that or you have to participate in this type of hazing or whatever things they do, 
a lot of people fall for the okie doke because a lot of them uh be young you know what i mean and manipulated or some people just crave riches and fame some people have announced um they sold they sold to you know the devil and and, and music songs and what have you like kanye west you know what i mean how you gonna make us how you gonna have lyrics like that and then make another song called jesus walks doesn't make sense <laughs> you understand now when he came out with through the wire that was okay that's a little testimony but i don't know what happened along the run you understand all right so with the blood contract i agree to a certain extent only because i've seen you know some boxing contracts and i didn't have to do anything i guess because i was independent you understand uh you know i marketed my own self i was my own i'll be my own promoter you know what i mean i just had to worry about managing stuff like that but for the most part i was my own boss i would i would have been my own boss uh from the get-go you know what i mean because that's just how i was you know although a promoter may offer you a contract you're on the b side you know what i mean more so when you start now and you're independent you know what i mean but if i was signed to uh let's say a top a top rank or golden boy and stuff like that i will have to abide by their rules and what they want me to do you know what i mean and um when you're young and let's just say okay you know oscar de la hoya come at you or b hopkins come at you with a contract you're happy but you got to look at it in the long run you understand you got to look at it in the long run one has to be really uh business oriented intelligent i mean look at floyd mayweather uh and what have you he was stuck in his contract at top rank and he got out of it and started doing things on him by himself and look where he's at and you know a lot of people can't get there because they're not mentally business oriented like how floyd mayweather does of course you know he betted on himself a lot of the times uh and whatnot all right um let me see what christopher span says all right he says i know the topic is about music industry entertainment industry but it's just not celebrities that sell it um sold for fame and fortune i've never talked about but more people who uh we call regular people are approached every day to sell out for that supervisor position for that district manager position for that um executive position he says they talk about going through doors at parties or walking through strange hallways at lodges or temples yet they don't talk about the, uh the things that happen in the workforce um the strange things that happen i agree with you i was just talking with somebody today um about that about people you know um i don't want to i don't want to sound too you know uh rated r but some women you know they open their legs for a position let's keep it real in the office field it's true some get their knees rusty you know what i mean and men do too you understand that just for a position instead of uh working hard for it you know what i mean but a lot of people just want that uh what you say supervisor's position or district manager position right away you know what i mean and they have to do those things i mean they don't have to but they feel as though that they have to do it and some silly people will do that you know what i mean some silly people will degrade themselves you know some silly women open their legs for a job position really get in, get on your knees for a job position is is it that serious you understand how how can one degrade themselves to do such a thing you know what i mean to do such a thing you know that is nasty um at the end of the day you know it kind of reminds me of that movie set it off <laughs> you know what i mean with jada pinky <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> and and that scene with that car uh dealer that car dealer you know what she had to do and people are actually doing that for a paycheck or a job position you know what i mean that's that listen that's a true statement that's a true story right there 
you understand in general that people are doing those type of things in the work field um and what have you you know <laughs> that's crazy right there i wouldn't i would never do such a thing you know what i mean never and i never was a person like that to be a sellout at work you know i see people you know kissing up um and what have you all right um you said the music industry along with the entertainment industry has become more bold with the signs of signals and symbols and um forgive me you says and symbols and imagery they have become bold and they don't even hide it you're right you're absolutely right about that appreciate that uh nicole martin appreciate that um you asked the question at courtney m you says a question for for people with children do y'all find yourself having to correct children more or adults more i feel like i know the answer adults adults you know look at the trolls that come on here every day look at the trolls that make the videos every day grown men mainly you understand when i look at my kids i could give them a certain look you know <laughs> and they know better just imagine if if those adults was around me oh man they get the business but i'd say adults you know that's my answer all right he says i was a huge patriots fan until brady was in countless live interviews talking about how his wife is a witch and how his wife would tell him to do things in order to win she explained i didn't know that i didn't know that you understand maybe i have to research that out you know i was a patriots fan when tom brady um before aaron hernandez did what he did you know Ronkowski, um and whatnot and things like that but was tom brady with uh or was he experiencing problems when he went to the bucks because they they won the super bowl also with uh, antonio brown so i gotta look into that you know what i mean i definitely gotta uh look into that i didn't know she was a uh practice witch um and stuff like that and i don't think they're together in these days tom brady uh what's her name Giselle or something like that and what have you i don't know but a lot a lot of them do practice those type of things especially in music and whatnot with the spells that's why when we used to hear the songs i know a lot of us used to like them old songs dmx you know what i mean cameron <laughs> you know the locks and whatnot we used to like that type of music and what have you you know and some of it still rings in our head you know what i mean all right appreciate that what up the Jinju? shout out to you hope all is well all right um let me see let me see forgive me uh you wrote a lot at christopher span i'll get back to you what's up the bob t shout out to you um let me see let me see what's up to uh d jackson he says god is good he says he's awesome and so wonderful and always that we can imagine and god always number one in my life hallelujah amen <clears throat> now the situation with uh puff daddy you know p diddy <laughs> p diddy man i clicked on a video i think i explained it last week i clicked on this video with whack 100 and in the beginning it was a disturbing audio i didn't know you understand <laughs> i didn't know it was a disturbing audio and i'm thinking it's like a sound effects until you you're like what's going on here and they start talking about i don't know something else you know so they had this disturbing audio what they call um meat mill and p diddy you know what i mean do i believe it i don't know do it sound like them similarly yes you understand but i know technology be, could be very tricky you understand um it hasn't to my knowledge it hasn't been um a statement 
to my knowledge, I haven't seen anything or heard anything about Meek Mill addressing it and what have you. You know, but a lot of people is going to sweep that stuff un underneath the rug um, and what have you, if, if, it, if it really went down. You know what I mean? But what person would record something like that, a sick person, if it was a third party in there um, and what have you? And what sick person would put that stuff on the Internet? You know what I mean? And what sick person would keep listening to that garbage over and over? You understand? I'm talking about over and over. You know? All right? So that's just a crazy part. And you hear stories about the entertainment, music industry, uh, and whatnot, of them creeping around with each other, um, and what have you. You understand? Or like 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 that person said earlier with the blood contracts and whatnot, you gotta do certain things like that in the uh the music industry, um, and what have you. Like I said, I don't understand these type of rituals and whatnot. Listen, just why can't people just make their music and go home? You understand that? Make your music, do what it, do what you gotta do and go home. You understand? All right. Um, who else? What's up to Michelle B? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up to TNT? Shout out to you, Sister Claire. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. I feel like he says, I feel like they got exposed a long time ago. People are just slow. Mm. I think this is the uh could be the icing on the cake with P. Diddy. You know, he opened up a whole can of worms big time. You know, I would say for starters with Cat Williams um and what have you, you know, it just has been a year of a lot of exposure with these people. Yes, it may have started a long time ago, but it 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 it's to me it didn't seem like it was on the forefront big time how it is now. Uh, and what have you, you know, Bob T says, darkness cannot escape the light. Mm. He says, uh, honestly, I don't think it's the actions that are being exposed as much as it is. The media is more ac accessible for people to see these actions. OK, I'll give you that one. I agree with that one. I agree with the YouTubes and the. The Facebooks and whatnot. You got the YouTubers out here. You got the bloggers. You understand? I agree with you uh, upon that one. He says, Mr. C. <laughs> Who is Mr. C? A former Hot 97 DJ. Look him up. Let's go to Mr. C. Uh, let's see if we can find him on the internet. Right quick. Let's see if we can find his stories over the uh, the internet um, right quick with Mr. C. <laughs> I mean, of course, if you are in the, the tri-state area, you know who uh, Mr. C is. If you um, you know have listened to the to the radio um, and whatnot, so this is it right here. Uh, this is a story right here. Um, Says Mr. C arrested again for soliciting a prostitute tries to uh defend himself. So this is Mr. C right here from uh Hot 97. He was a DJ, uh, and what have you. So that's Mr. C right there. Um, and whatnot. All right. He said, Who was Mr. C? Was he baptized? I doubt it. I doubt he was uh baptized. I highly doubt it. You understand? He said he did interviews with PJ in the past. Um, no, I don't. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. You know, was 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 that a question at um TNT? I never heard of him either. He said, "Show us a picture." There you go. What's up, the Ernest Bid? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up, the Rebel Eric? Shout out to you. What's up to uh, Christopher Span? Definitely appreciate the support um, of this YouTube channel. It's a blessing. You know, thanks for tuning in and uh, being a moderator on this YouTube channel at Christopher Span. Appreciate the support. Gino P says, um, facts, Mr. C, definitely loved them Transformers. 
Now it's time to meet the Lord. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? He was 57 years of age. Young. Young. You understand? Young. Henry Ross says the industry is wicked and you deceive him by um, them jays that runs all up through heli weird. He says, I know for sure that they know something that them that says that they're from Israel are not scripture. Hmm. What's up to David B? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, he says, What's up? I was putting on timeout on live because I wrote false. I I don't know. I don't know if it was on this channel or the other channel. So you might have been putting on timeout on the other channel. But this channel, I let people rock out. You know what I mean? I let them rock out because it's more raw and uncut on this YouTube channel. But if you was put on timeout on the other channel, then the, the rules are different over there. You understand? All right. <laughs> uh, you funny. Oh, you say it was a mistake. Okay. You cleared it up, Nicole Martin. Appreciate that. What's up to open your heart to salvation? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. He said, they said Mr. C was a double dipper. <laughs> Mr. C, I bet, listen, I better be careful. That's Funk Master Flex, boy. You know what I mean? He don't like when you talk about Mr. C. You know? But I'm not going to acknowledge Mr. C as, as being his icon in hip-hop and stuff like that. No. You understand? Not at all. You know? Not at all. All right? Uh, what's up, the sister Diva? Shout out to you. All right, Christopher says it it may not be a ritual uh, you must do in order to make it, but trust and believe at some point you will be tried and tested. Well, again, I don't know. I don't know. You understand? Because I know I know of somebody, um, Peter 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 Kit Chocolate Quillen. You understand? Uh, wait, let me see if I can find a picture or whatever the case may be. I think I got it up here. Let me see. So that's me. That's me and Pete, uh, Peter Quillen, former world champ. You know, he turned his life around to Christ. And, uh, you know, we conversate and he never talk about stuff like that. Nothing like that has ever happened. You understand? So this is why I... I say, like, if you are, like, more so independent and not, like, under people, like, sign the bad boy or sign the people and stuff like that, you know, if you out handling your own business, that's why I think in the boxing world, it may be different. You understand? It may be a little different as far as, like, the music industry. The contracts are different and things like that. There's, I haven't seen no rituals. We don't never talked about no rituals or nothing like that has happened in the business of boxing. You know what I mean? Or MMA and stuff like that. The fight, the fight game is different from that type of stuff. See, them folks in the music game and all that other nonsense, they go through that stuff. I haven't seen it. Maybe it's out there in, in the fighting world, but I haven't seen it. My time, you know, trying to uh get my name up and stuff like that get some fights back then with the contracts and whatnot you know but it could be you, you know hey you might be right you understand all right let's go to more comments um you says that's what's going on where i work wow that's what's going on where you work What's up to Prince Sean? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up to Sister Davis? Shout out to you, one of my channel uh, moderators. What's up to Cynthia Davenport? Shout out to you. Um, hope all is well. <clears throat> Definitely shout out to you. All right. So somebody else was telling me about um, Justin Bieber and uh, Odell Beckham. Somebody was telling me about that. You know what I mean? Um, another uh, disturbing video 
um, and whatnot with uh, Odell Beckham and um, Justin Bieber um, and what have you. Although sometimes the internet could take certain things out of proportion or create their own narrative and whatnot. I, I, I get it. I understand. All right? You know, I viewed the video one time. One time. You understand? I don't care if a man drops something. Um, I don't care if I drop something in front of a guy next to his shoes. I ain't going over there and, and bending down and picking it up. No way. You understand? If that was the case with uh, Mr. Bieber, you know, getting on his knees. You don't play around like that. <laughs> you understand? Even if you want to pick up something. Listen, go kick the item away. You know what I mean? To a clear area. <laughs> you understand? Or ask that person to pick it up for you. You know? But you don't play around like that if that was the case. You know? All right? Jen says, I set it off. The scene made me... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you're funny, man. You said it used to be honorable to um to be chastised and not overly um sexy. Now we get uh we get laughed at. Wow. All right. Um, you says don't forget about don't forget about um the gospel music industry. The gospel music industry. You're right about that. Kurt Franklin. Let's check out Kurt Franklin. All right. Kurt Franklin. Kurt Franklin. Kurt Franklin. Let's see. Um, let me check this out right here. So this this is Mr. Kurt. Mr. Kurt Franklin. Uh, the gospel artist, the twerking gospel artist, or whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call him. It's, it's a sad thing to see that, you know, a person like that who claims to represent Christ has those type of actions and what have you. You know what I mean? At concerts, dancing and twerking and backing it up on a, on, on a female. I'm not sure if that was his wife, even if it was his wife. You understand? Why are you looking foolish like that? This is, this is why we get criticized and people think we are part of them. This is why we got these platforms. We had these conversations to let the people know, listen, we don't represent uh, Kurt Franklin and what he does. We don't represent T.D. Jakes and, and the stuff that he does or Creflo Dollar um, and stuff like that. All right. Let me see. What's up to uh, William Shepard? I think I shout you out. What's up to G. Swole? He says, I feel like people don't really care about the truth when people still listen to R. Kelly. I'm pretty sure Diddy as well. R. Kelly. R. <laughs> R. Kelly. Uh-oh. I know some people saying, I don't see nothing wrong. You understand? I know some people are saying that right now. You know, some people probably was bumping that honey love. You know? Or bumping grind. You know, you're right about that. Some people still bumping Diddy. And it's a, it's a sad thing, right? They don't know that some of them songs that R. Kelly has was an influence to his perverted ways. You understand? When In the documentary, I believe it was, what, Surviving R. Kelly or something like that? It spoke about how he used to go around to high schools you know what I mean? Go around to the high schools because he knew those little girls was going to notice him. You know what I mean? And people, listen, the music may sound good to the flesh, but once you understand the lyrics and what have you, a lot of it is the influence for his perverted ways um, and what have you. But you got a point right there at G-Swall. You got a point. You know, you definitely got a point. All right? What's up to Jay David? I've spent my, I spent time around a lot of these kinds of individuals. These people are degenerates. <laughs> What's up to Jay David? What up, what up, what up? 
You got that right at um at Jin. You're right. You're right about that. What's up, the AG? You said the Diddler. <laughs> What's up, the uh V Coleman? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. You says Orlando put out a very disgusting video. I threw my phone. Orlando Brown. I don't know what happened to that kid. I really don't know what happened to that kid. But in these days, he's really messed up in the head. Uh, for sure. All right. What's up to Michael Hollinsworth? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up to Latanya? Shout out to you. Oh, I don't I don't I don't want to put that comment up. <laughs> Henry Ross says that's probably that probably is. Um, that artificial intelligence operations like the FBI did against Martin Luther King sounds like mm. Michael says everything about the music industry is being exposed. Some of them are coming out telling the dark side about the music industry. Mm. The sad thing is a lot of them talking about it, but yet they're still in it. You understand? If people are talking about the industry um, and whatnot, why why do they continue to make the music you know why they continue to be in that industry something that they're talking about it's good to warn the people who have an interest and in, and in, you know wanting to become in that type of field and what have you but my thing is why stay in it if they're going to complain about it all right i would say explain the blood contract please a heat heat brought that up all right. He says allegedly Diddy's son got caught up also being a freak elite. <laughs> What's up, the Sion? Shout out to you. Classified information says I believe the industry has death clauses, blood contracts, a hundred percent. Hmm. Well, I think I was listening to um a former satanic priest speak on that. You know, they signed some type of contract. And after a certain amount of time, that's it. Unless they repent, of course. You know what I mean? But I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dabble in that. You understand? I would not dabble in something like that. But some people I just want to be famous. They want to be rich. You know? So they don't care what they got to go through. They don't care. If somebody's offering them $50 million. I, I promise you, $50 million right here, you get all the women, you get all the jewelry, you get all the fame for 30 or 40 years. And then after that, that's it for you. You know, some people don't care. They think it's going to last forever. You know what I mean? So that's crazy right there. All right? You says Will Smith and uh, Dwayne Martin. Will Smith... Let's look him up right quick. Will Smith and Dwayne uh, Martin. Here we go right here. All right. So it says in Entertainment Weekly, Will Smith denies claims he had with uh, Dwayne Martin. <clears throat> wow. Why, why would people speculate such a thing? You understand? Why would it? Why can't these people just listen? You, you gotta. Well, she was kind of beautiful before Jada, Jada Pinkett, and what have you. These people just gotta get in some type of mess. You know what I mean? Why can't you just enjoy your money, enjoy your wife, enjoy your spouse, and that's it? It seemed like almost every week or every month, Will Smith in something, Puff Daddy in something, Jada Pinkett in something. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's not just one little thing. It's a variety of things. This is why people believe in it. You understand? Because it's, it's not just one thing. It's a variety of things. You know? The Chris Rock slap. The Jada Pickett situation. The Wayne Martin situation. And various other situations going on with, Mil with Will Smith and uh, Jada Pinkett. All right? Let me see. Um, he says, blood contracts comes with uh, expectations. Remember, R. Kelly on his song, I Wish, talked about his deceased mama, and she reminded him 
what does it profit to gain the whole world and lose your soul mm. wow you says did he be wanting to party and you have to tell him no <laughs> michael says not not only the adults are being exposed but children is too with the satanic music diddy parties that's crazy g swole says i'm doing my best to listen to the tog music especially that song i got faith um everything is going to be all right that's what's up that's what's up and that's definitely recommended you know um to keep our minds on holy things it's tough it's real tough all right he says mr c is a pervert <laughs> mr c is a pervert i showed a picture at um nicole martin <clears throat> you said he's dead yes mr c passed away mr c uh he passed away you know the story is out um he passed away somebody put that on it was in the news feed today on facebook you know shortly before i got on here um and what have you so yeah he he passed away all right um he says it's so sad that many of these hellish um hip-hop rappers die at a very young age he says from uh the ages 20 to 50 absolutely you know what i mean and to me to me 50 is young you know 50 is young I'm, I'm about to be 40 and i still feel like it's the beginning um that i'm learning i'm still learning more about life um itself you said mr c was big in uh nyc yeah yeah he was absolutely italian says i feel the music industry is being exposed more than ever but we can't believe everything some information because some information can be unbiasedly info from uh certain news i agree i agree with that you know for sure what's up to allison heard shout out to you appreciate that he says i don't understand please help me if i'm thinking wrong mm. um let me see let me see let me see you said he and his wife are battling too often <laughs> he said is that the word um held right behind mr c head in the background uh we took it off i'm not i'm not too sure all right wow that's crazy you said and justin uh bribery has uh bad health he's too young classified information says poor Bieber was getting passed around and tossed up as a minor. Wow. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. You know what I mean? If if that's true. You know, if it's true. All right. Um, D Jackson says, Did you ever sin so much that you just hate sin? We supposed to hate what God hates and to love what God loves. <clears throat> I mean, understandable. You know um there's also a scripture in there that says what um the flesh is weak but the spirit is willing you know a lot of a lot of our flesh is weak you know especially to the things that we like if a person was a heavy alcoholic it's very tough for him or her to get over that especially when they walk by the liquor store or an hour where there's a bunch of liquor at it's tough you know what i mean it's absolutely tough or if somebody was a drug addict you know your flesh is craving it and what have you you know it's almost like a, a drug user you know when they go cold turkey um and what have you all right open your heart says god gave me the talent and gift to sing or whatever the gift may be what i don't understand is how come per how come people contract um their talent for the gift that was uh given to them i am just saying what you mean by that how come people contract their talent for the gift i don't, I don't get that part right there all right henry ross says that's why you have to become to be uh to be aware 
of who you hire as well uh, because they're supposed to be looking over at the contracts and the artist should take a look at it a second time just in case absolutely absolutely you said tamala man she sold out tamala man what, what makes you think that uh what makes you say that what makes you say that about uh tamala man that she uh sold out you know what i mean how did tamala man go from uh take me to the king to uh selling out um let me know <laughs> You said you said I met Kurt Franklin's son through a friend by chance. Uh, he was very broken. Wow. Wow, that's crazy right there. All right. You says we gotta uh address what's up with Kurt Franklin. You said Kurt Franklin's wife is very pretty. <laughs> you said Kurt Franklin has a sex demon that controls him. Wow. Wow. William says, what up? Mm. He says, what up with uh, bubblegum lipstick wearing uh, boy uh, Kurt Franklin? It's crazy. He says, we don't represent anybody in the stuff they do. Absolutely not. Absolutely not uh, for sure. You know? <laughs> What's up, Latoya? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Hope all is well with you. Michael Hollinsworth says, Kurt Franklin, Diedrich Hatton, William Murphy, Todd Trivet, all these uh, gospel artists has, has went from singing for God to making devilish music. Mm. That's crazy right there. You know? It's the fame. It's the popularity. It's the money. You understand? Which shouldn't justify nothing at the end of the day as far as like turning on God for fame and fortune. You know, but a lot of them do it. A lot of them. You know, they start out right. They start out right, holy, and what have you. Once somebody offered them, them that check, listen, here you go. Are you going to take it? You understand? All right. Um... He says, now in these days, more and more people in the entertainment industry are being exposed. A lot of skeletons coming out of the closet. They probably thought things did in the past uh, was hush. Uh, you're right. All right, what up, Sandra? He says, Kurt Franklin was, was bagging it up in front of the Clark sisters. No respect for his wife. Wow. Let me Let me type that in right quick. We gonna go to that. Let me see if they got a photo of that up right now. All right. Uh, I don't really see it. Let's go to this one right quick. We're just gonna go back a little bit. All right. What's up? The um. What's up? The impact. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. He says R. Kelly is only singing for his cellmates now. Hmm. Says Orlando was a panda as a young boy. It destroyed his essence. Old Brown got tampered with. Now he's on that meth. <laughs> oh, man. You said that R. Kelly story is too sad um, and depressing. You're right. You're absolutely right. You know? He says the drugs come with the territory. Drugs. And you're right. You're absolutely right about that. Um, he says the alcoholic great singer, what is that? G, D, uh, what is that? Um, Leandra Johnson has a great voice, so Satan gives her that liquor because he knows that is her weakness. I guess you said she smiles, Martin Sap. He says, Messy, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's crazy, right there. It's true, right? He says, What can you say about F Town rappers? Like uh, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Sexy Red, especially uh, our young children singing Pound Town. Now, let me look this up. Sexy Red. So this is the young uh, female Sexy Red. 
I honestly don't see anything sexy about her. You understand? I don't see nothing sexy about this uh, young female. You know what I mean? Not one bit. You understand? All right. So you says, especially young children singing Pound Town. I never heard of Pound Town. I never heard of uh, Pound Town. Let's go look at the lyrics. Let me see if I can find the lyrics to uh, Pound Town because I ain't going to play the, the song due to copyright. So you says Pound Town. Let me see Pound Town sexy uh, red lyrics. And then we're going to share the screen. Okay. All right. So y'all told me, uh, you told me to look up, you told me about Pound Town. I didn't know nothing about it. So I decided to look up the lyrics and we're going to go through it like this. <laughs> we're going to go through the lyrics. Okay. My first time viewing these lyrics um, and whatnot. All right. Okay. This is from uh, Sexy Red and Tate Keith. It's called Pound Town. Wow, look, look, oh man, this is crazy. Blank these, blank up. I'm out, I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds. I guess that means you're out of town with your gun. And if it's a problem, you're going to shoot somebody with the rounds you got in your gun. Okay. Okay, this says, my blank is pink. Now, what type of female would put something like that in their lyrics? My blink is pink. My blink hole is brown. What? And this is the type of this is the type of music that you know parents allow their kids to listen to. Let listen. Let let one of my daughters play something like this. On the strength, they getting a beating right off the bat. You know what I mean? That's crazy. He says, I ain't I'm gonna read a little bit more. We're gonna exit out of here, man. This is just crazy. This is crazy. All right. He says, Where them? I'm looking for them. He says, quit playing. Mm, come up toes. So she's um calling herself the B-word and whatnot. What type of respect is that for yourself? You know, and I've heard women out there call their friends the B, the B word. Hey, what's up, B? How you doing? And they feel excited and proud about that. You understand? All right. Let's, we're going to read a few more, and that's it. It says, Pound Town, just left Pound Town. Where my blank? He just took a blank down. Yeah, that blank, blank. Uh, blank down. So, coming from the title, I think it has something to do with, you know, SEX, right? And the lyrics are just crazy. And we're going to X out of this, man. You want to you understand? That's some crazy. That, listen. <laughs> Yo, that's some crazy lyrics right there, man. That's some, <laughs> that's some crazy lyrics right there. And the people love it. The people of that world, that industry, those who listen to that type of stuff for entertainment purposes, they love that type of stuff. Why? Because it's going to sell. You know what I mean? Anytime a female um, that downgrades herself like that, they know there's money involved. You know what I mean? Those record labels don't care. They know this is money right here to them. This is money. A female who would downgrade herself in lyrics, they know it's money. You understand? All right. Um, you says, hate, hate now. I didn't go to uh, R. Kelly's third concert in Dallas. What? <laughs> what you talking about? What's up, the D. Jackson? I don't like uh, that kind of music. I always listen to uh, mostly country. Hmm. He says, sexy red lipstick line, the names of the colors are so uh, offensive and uh, disgusting. Uh. Wow. Christopher Spann says, I know you don't watch too many movies, yet there is a uh, movie called Living 
and Bandish on Netflix. That movie is exactly what goes on. Uh, you should give it a watch. Hmm. Living in bandage. Bandage or bondage? Let me know. All right. David B says Kelly Clarkson said to Kevin Hart that she was offered millions of dollars to do things that she did not want to do. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy right there. Uh, for sure. All right, what's up to T Hall? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. T Hall, shout out to you. Appreciate you. All right. Sheila Davis says money changes people. Yes, it can. It can. You're right about that. I, I, I agree with you. Sister Davis says, I only listen to gospel music. I wonder how many people on here listen to um other music, uh secular as opposed to gospel music. Just curious. Well, you know. As I mentioned, some of us still probably struggle. You know what I mean? I know some of the music from the past, you know, is more cleaner than what's going on now. You know what I mean? He may say, well, uh, DMX, you know, he told a lot of his stories, you know, his songs like Slip and I'm Falling. You know, he told some stories, Tupac, Dear Mama, Brenda's Got a Baby. You know what I mean? But the thing is, you know, is it holy? You understand? So some of us probably still struggle. You know, I'm on YouTube, and what popped up on YouTube? Juvenile. You know, put a put a music video out of an old song from the past. 400 Degrees. You know what I mean? One of my favorite songs from the past. Wow. You understand? <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? When I used to listen to that type of music, you know, it, it, it was a process because you got to understand, I, I, I DJ before in my younger years. So every year I'm, I'm at the store buying records, listen to music every day, all day almost, every day. You know how long it took for that stuff to be removed from my mind and the urge. It took years. You know what I mean? Years. That's not an overnight thing, especially to the people who uh, love music. You know what I mean? I had to throw my records away, my DJ equipment. You know what I mean? That hurt. You know what I mean? That hurt. That hurt. But you know, I had to do it. You understand? Um, let me see. He says, because of Dwayne Martin, former bodyguard, told that story about Dwayne Martin um, was killing mm, in his office, says the former bodyguard, uh, Dwayne Martin. Wow. That's crazy. Um, T. Hall says, I don't even listen to my radio anymore. Nothing but junk around here. He says, look what Bum B and Pimp C wife um, did to to him well um i i didn't hear about that one with um pimp c you know i i what i heard the story about pimp c i think he died from uh what promethazine what they call lean or something like that that's the story i heard you know what i mean and a lot of them people uh in the south in houston that's their preference. Lean. You understand? Lean. Promethazine. Now, what idiot would drink uh, promethazine? What idiot would go to the store? You understand? Go to the medical aisle and get promethazine and pour it in a cup of ice. Some people are just stupid, man. Stupid. You know, just imagine that. Imagine that. You understand? All right. Do you see the did do you see the solar eclipse is a sign of disasters to come? Well, I don't I don't honestly I don't really get involved in that type of stuff, but I can only go by what the scripture says about stuff like that. You know what I mean? The scripture says rumors of wars and whatnot. So I can only go go by what the scripture says. You know what I mean? Never mind what the media says. Never mind what my opinions are. 
you know, when the eclipse came, some people say, well, the, the end of the world is coming. Or the world is going to end. Or this or that. Hey, it's just an eclipse. That's it. You know what I mean? It's definitely appreciated to, to see the work of God. You know? But I can only go by what the scripture says about things like that. You know? All right? He said, there was a... Um, a rumor also I heard about Will Smith and Dwayne Martin, but I don't know if it's true. I think somebody explained that already on here. All right. What's up, Adina Cole? He says, what was that all about with that Travis Scott concert? Something about a portal and uh, seance people dying. All right. Travis uh, Scott. Let me look that up right quick. Travis Scott concert. All right. Let's see. Are you talking about this astral world or whatever you call this nonsense? Astral world. Astral world? Wow. And uh, TNT said that sounds like the devil. It's of the devil. And it is. It is. But these type of things a lot of people like. You understand that? It gravitates their attention. They love this type of stuff. They love it. They love it. They love the stuff that they can do anything they want and think is okay. You understand? Some people in music songs saying, you know, they on demon time. You know what I mean? A, a lot of them rappers now, I think I heard Beyonce saying something like that too also. You know, they on demon time. Picture that. Picture that. And people feel comfortable with saying that. Well, some people may say, oh, it's just lyrics and whatnot, but you got to be careful. You know what I mean? I think as a scripture says, what? Life and death is in the power of the tongue or something like that? You got to be careful what you say. Because a lot of things will come back on you. You understand? So people play around with words like that. All right? Astral World. What's up to uh, Jamaica Campbell's Plumbing TV? He says, out here in Jamaica, these artists are getting worse in the music uh, every day. Jamaica. Michael says, it's very sad that our children today are, are, are singing Pound Town and disrespecting the adults, our teachers and instructors who are teaching our children um the right way wow pound town pound town and they think it's fun you know what i mean that's crazy and then when you when you when you put on a, a holy preacher when you put on a man of god that's actually breaking down you know feeding the people knowledge and feeding the people understanding because that's what a preacher is supposed to do, supposed to do, right? To feed the people the knowledge and the understanding. I believe that's in the book of Jeremiah, chapter three, I believe, somewhere. You know what I mean? But they rather hear sexy red. They rather hear Megan Thee Stallion. You know, you put on Geno Jennings or or. or a holy God sent preacher preaching the truth on that type of stuff. Well, why are he judging so much? They said, Why are he judging? You in the cult. They always got to come up with something. Something. Anytime a real man of God is preaching the word about stuff like this, y'all in the cult. But when you hear a music song, downgrading women disrespecting themselves and disrespecting uh adults and what have you they love it you understand they twerking to it they're doing all types of these dance moves and whatnot they Memphis juke into it <laughs> you understand they pop lock into it you know they crip walk into it the moment you put on a godsend preacher man they ain't a cult. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Um, let me see who I missed. What's up, the Beverly Palmer? Shout out to you. I uh, hope all is well. You said Tamla Man has been looking real crazy lately. Big wigs and transformer makeup. Tamla Man. Impact says, uh, blessed night. These people love riches um, more than their lives. Just just uh, to save ourselves. I guess you mean we just have to save ourselves. I think you meant that. Um, Let me see. Scrolling through the comments right quick. William Shepard. Um, you said rumor, rumor has it that Kurt Franklin's son is one of them, one of them, one of them. Well, here's the thing. You know, let me look it up right quick. Let's see. All right. We're going to look it up right fast. Um, hmm. Let's look at this right quick. So, um, I guess he did an interview in, with, a, with a magazine or something like that. And he mentioned um, that he's bisexual. So, this is what I'm looking at. On the screen is uh, EEW um, magazine. Wow. Well, my thing is, if a listen, if a, a person is a grown man and they on their own and what have you, and I don't know what type of upbringing Kurt Franklin, you know, did for his son or whatever the case may be, you know, but if a father raised his child the best way he could the best way to the age of 18 or wherever they decide to leave the house to go to college the military or whatever the case may be me personally that's an adult right there you know what i'm saying that's an adult he or she is on their own and uh, of course the people are going to wonder yes i wonder like wow you know what i'm saying like but we also got to understand that you know there are adults now they're on their own. So people outside the house of their parents, I don't know if they live, if he live with his parents, I don't know that. You know, they res- they're responsible for their own actions um, at the end of the day. But of course, you know, us YouTubers and the, the media, <laughs> you know, we might find that to be a problem. You understand? We might find that to be a problem. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of people in the gospel world or a lot of people in the churches, even even holy churches. You want to you understand? There's a lot of people even in the holy church that you know it may be a God sent preacher. He may have family members who are you know who are in that type of area and whatnot, and they older and what have you. So it's like we think about it. You know, although we you know we we don't put the blame. Should we put the blame on the parents or the uh, the adult man right here? He went to a magazine as a grown man, and he's stating that, listen, I'm bisexual. And he know, he probably know what it's going to do to Kurt Franklin's uh, legacy or whatever the case may be. He know what it's going to do. You know what I mean? So what do you say about that at um, William Shepard? Let me know. Let me know what you, what you uh, think about that. All right. Uh, let me see. <laughs> oh man, he says no, like Logan. Shout out to Logan. Shout out to Logan uh, for sure. All right. Oh wow, I ain't, I ain't gonna put that on the screen. That might get me a that might get me a warning or something like that. All right, let's go to more comments. Let's go to more comments. He says Ari Spears caught wearing a dress. Ari Spears. That's I think that's who I forgot. Ari Spears is another one. See, here's here's the thing with Ari Spears. Ari Spears want to talk like this this tough guy and and whatnot and and things like that. 
but yet he made a music video kissing another man. You understand? He made a music video kissing another man, but he want to talk about other men and what they do with other men. But when he stated that this was on Vlad TV, the interview and other interviews that he did about it, he think him kissing another man wasn't nothing. You understand? He think it was comedy. Listen, you don't play like that. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't play like that. You don't play around like that. You understand? Especially when you call yourself talking against it and what have you. But you had a music video which you're trying to justify. Let's see if we can go back to it. All right. Airy Spears. <clears throat> all right. So this is it right here, I believe. It says clip of Airy Spears kissing a man while. I ain't gonna read that word. So this is from a, a music video that he uh he did some time ago. I didn't I didn't know about this. I did I I didn't know about this um as at all. So Ari Spears on DJ Vlad, he says kissing a man in my comedy, uh he says doesn't make me. This is Ari Spears, um and what have you. So he 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 thought it was comedy. You don't play around like that, man. And the fact that you that you did it long ago, you didn't you didn't say, listen, you know what? I apologize, you know. I did that and um I'm sorry, or whatever the case may be. However, DJ Vlad was asking him or the interviewers um and whatnot, you know, that you 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 went contrary to what you believe. And what have you but no he's justifying it saying it was comedy um and what have you so in his thought in his mind that it's okay to do comedy doing that type of stuff it's okay that's every spears way of thinking um and what have you but when two men out there doing the same thing that he's doing is wrong it doesn't make sense you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense at all as far as like what he's saying from Aries Spears' perspective on what he believes. All right? Let's go to more comments. Um, he says, look up sexy red lipstick colors. Um, he says, especially the brown color. <laughs> Sion says, Tyler Perry. AG says, uh, Natalie Cole took her husband to a party set and he tasted the drugs and years later, um, Pastor Marvin Yancey overdosed. Wow. He says, don't listen to it, Tony. Uh-uh. Uh uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no. He says, sexy red is ratchetness defined. And a lot, listen, and a lot of women, they, they want to be like that. They think that's the attitude to be ratchet. Ratchetness. Listen, being ratchet, a woman who's ratchet is one of the biggest turnoffs. The biggest turnoffs. And they think it's cool. They think it's beautiful. They think it's sexy. You understand? And listen, I grew up in the hood, man. Ratchetness is one of the biggest turn-offs ever you understand ever for sure all right you said there's a video of sexy red going to sing for a high school wow and the principal appro approved that the superintendent approved that that's crazy all right <laughs> I guess y'all talking about the lyrics when I read them off. I'm at the 8.17 mark p.m. of the comments. It's 8.40 p.m. right now. So I'm just trying to get through these comments. All right? Forgive me. You said stop it. You said... <laughs> you said too explicit. Listen, I didn't know. 
I didn't know. Please forgive me. All right. It says, don't mess around and get marked. <laughs> you said, okay, let me look this up right quick before we go back to Erie Spears. So you said sexy red, um, brown lipstick. <clears throat> let me look that up right quick. Brown lipstick, sexy red. This is what this is what is coming up, um, and what have you. You said, um, you said, sexy red lip gloss line has the raunchiest flavors ever. Flavors. So she got flavors out. I, I listen. I didn't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to find the flavors and whatnot to see what they are. You know. Um. Let me see. So we on this. We on this site. Courtney M. You told me to look this up. Um. Double XL site. Let's go up to the top. So it says. Um. This is sexy red or whatever the case may be. And they got, this is my first time looking at this. Forgive me for all the pop-ups. It's not my fault. I'm trying to find it, but these pop-ups keep coming up. So it says, I got a lip gloss dropping and I got all different flavors. Wow. This is crazy. Listen, I don't even want to read this off. I don't even want to read this off. But I know there's going to be women out there and men out there that's going to buy this stuff. I know it is. You know what I mean? That's the sad part right there. I know it is. You know? That's crazy right there. All right? <laughs> he said, I'm going to unsubscribe. I can't I can't even read that stuff off. I'm not even gonna do that. You understand? I ain't, I ain't even gonna do that to myself. Not at all. You know? All right. Let's go to these comments. Knock down these comments. What's up, the master Wu? Shout out to you. T Hall says half of the parents don't know their kids are listening to this stuff, to stuff like that. My fault. <laughs> yeah, all right. yeah, he. I ain't listen. I ain't know, man. I ain't know. No way. He says the comment about gifts and talents. Why should I sign a contract for my gift that I was blessed with, so they can get rich off of? I hope that sounds correct. You're right. You know, but the thing is. A lot of people want to get rich and famous, you know? So when you got these music companies and stuff like that, they got a contract out for you and what have you. There's a contract and there's money there for you. And a lot of these people, they, they come from poverty or whatever the case may be, or they really want to get in the industry and what have you. And they don't know the business side to it. So they just, they just, Sign a contract without getting a proper lawyer for it or the proper people to look at this contract. You know what I mean? All right. Um, let me see who else. <laughs> Yo, y'all funny. All right. Sion says, I don't I don't think R. Kelly did a major did a major damage like P. Diddy or Pup Daddy. Whatever his name is. He says, <laughs> he says, TH going to need prayer after reading the lyrics uh, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's up? To, uh, what is that? To me and more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He says, wait till you find, uh, what is that? Sakini? Sahana? How you, how you say her name? Is is that the one that they be putting up on the internet that look like uh that little character on Barney? 
What's that? What's that female character on Barney that they be putting up? You know what I mean? They be putting up this like this uh this character. And I think that's the that little girl. All right? He says, um, I know right. How do you how how do you consider it normal conversation addressing one another by calling each other um female dogs, names, or other crazy titles? Absolutely. He says, Sexy Red also said on a live interview, she sold her soul. Um, she's now a part of the, um, I, ain't, I can't, I ain't going to say that word on here. And she can get out even if she, and she can't get out even if she, she wanted to. Wow. Repentance. All right. B. Coma says, disgusting music for a woman to be singing. Absolutely. What's up? The just straight facts. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Digital Masterpiece says, people out here dying trying to live these rap lyrics. You're right. You're absolutely right, for sure. All right, let's go through these comments right quick. How do you feel about Lauryn Hill music? You think it'll get, a, get, a, it'll get attention um, in these days? Lauryn Hill. Well, to my understanding, um, when I used to listen to Lauryn Hill, she didn't have no music like this. You know what I mean? Lauren Hill. Do I think it would get um attention? It would get some attention for those who like that soft, laxed, relaxing type of music. But not like a sexy red or whatever the case may be. No. People don't want to people don't want to hear lax music, ease music more so like that. You know what I mean? You can't play a um, a Lauryn Hill song in the club. You know what I mean? You can't play that. You know what I mean? You could play that at like a soft type of restaurant. You know what I mean? But sexy red music and what have you, that's, that's what these folks are listening to in these days. You know what I mean? This is what they love. You know, but I, I me personally, I don't think so. All right, you said uh what is that? Suki had a little boy in the in the music video. She twerking on him, and then she holding someone's baby and was twerking. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. What's up the Hill? What is that? Hilla Rio? You said the goal of Christian music industry is to make money and get awards, Dove Awards, Stella Awards. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. All right, T. Hall says some of these artists do cry out in their songs because they discover things they weren't aware of when they get in there. It <laughs> Sister Davis says, not judging anyone your struggle and things one goes through is between them and God. I understand, not judging, I don't listen because it takes me back to my past thinking. AG says. Who says TH was probably tough for you since you DJ lots of music? Absolutely. Gino P says uh, that drill music heavy in NYC. Not going to a lot of beats be having me and my head bobbing. Lord help me. Drill music. Drill music. Pop smoke. Drill music. Pop smoke. Fabio Foreign. You know. Roddy Rebel, GS9. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, who else is out there? Tw two two G's. You know, Nas Blicky. I think Nas Blicky got shot, right? Um, who else? I think Nick Blicky got killed. You know, I'm familiar with that type of stuff. Brooklyn. I mean, you know, it it, it the beats. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? The beats, yes. I do agree. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do agree. And somebody said there was like a, a a Christian drill type of music, gospel drill music or something like that. You know, but you're right. The drill music out there in New York, mainly like Brooklyn, is heavy out there. It's heavy. 
You know what I mean? The, the, the woos and the chose, the hats, and all them folks out there. You understand? It's heavy out there. But in their lyrics, it's like, you know, it's very disrespectful. A lot of killing, a lot of talking about, you know, dead people. So when somebody dies from a, a, a opposition side, now somebody got to make a song about it. They laugh. They they laughing at that your partner or the person that you was with died. Now they making mockery of it. You understand? They making mockery of somebody's death in songs. And record labels are actually signing these people and actually allowing it to happen. And YouTube platforms like YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that, they allow it. But the moment you put up something in reference to the truth that they don't like, they will take your video down. They probably would terminate your YouTube channel. You understand? So Pop Smoke, uh, Fabio Foreign, he's another one. You know, with the uh, with the drill rap out there in uh, New York, um, and what have you. Two two G's. You know, he says all. He says all records. Michelle B says some of the gospel music don't sound pleasing to God. I agree with you. I agree. I definitely agree with you on that one. Um, for sure. You know, all right. So we're coming to a conclusion in a bit. Let me get some rid of some of these comments. V. Coleman says, I like simple gospel music. I don't listen to rap. Gospel music. He says that that's ast astrology is of the devil. He says, Why should people put all of this junk in their boys? When in their body, when their body is uh the temple of God. Absolutely. I agree for sure. Um, Christopher Spann said the concert was literally called Astro World. Some fans said they they seen evil spirits in the crowd. I wouldn't be surprised. How did you react when the earth react to the earthquake that happened in New York to feel it in New Jersey where you live? I don't live in New Jersey. I don't live in New Jersey. You know what I mean? But hey, when the earthquake happened in 2011. You know what I mean? Even, even if it was an earthquake here in North Carolina, I'd be like, okay. You know, people was running. I saw a video in New York at the New York Mall. People were running. For what? If it's your time to go, it's your time to go. You understand? <laughs> Some people say that the world is ending. Well, if it was ending right there, what you running for? You can't go nowhere. You want <laughs> You can't go nowhere. But like earthquakes and tornadoes and stuff like that, that stuff that stuff don't bother me. You know what I mean? It's actually a blessing to witness that type of stuff. You know what I mean? An earthquake, a tornado, even if you have a bad headache or a sickness and what have you. You know how many people that's in hell or going to hell and what have you would love for the opportunity to be in our position right now. You understand? They will love it. You know, but earthquakes and eclipses and stuff like that, hey, it's all the work of God. You know what I mean? And I love it. You, you understand? I love it. Although when it's lightning and thundering out there, I'm trying to get in the house, but I love to see the work of God. You know what I mean? I love it. For sure. You said Travis Scott was performing while people were dying at his concert two years ago. Wow, that's crazy. TNT says that twerking is an evil spirit that comes over women. That's the that's the devil out of hell trying to get us to fornicate and lust over our sisters. You says Beyonce ran away to Japan because they are uh, coming for Jay Z next. She even separated her assets from his. She says, devil is coming to collect y'all. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That is crazy for sure, all right? 
All right, let me go down right quick. Um, you said she was naked in public for that window seat window. Excuse me for that window seat video. I couldn't uh believe it. All right, we're coming to a conclusion uh to this live video. Uh maybe we do a part two. Maybe we do a part two on this and whatnot. It was a very interesting conversation, as always. This was here was regular conversation number 40. So any last closing remarks uh, to the video, feel free to leave it in the chat room uh, for sure. And uh, Lord willing, we, we can continue this um, conversation in a part two. All right. Let me see. You says, my bad. I thought you lived in New Jersey. I'm, I'm originally from New Jersey. Originally from Jersey City, New Jersey. You know? Been out in North Carolina for two years and a couple of months. Well, we'll see. We'll see, you know. We'll see. We'll see in the coming years. You know. All right. What's up to Jared James? He says Lecrae was at Diddy's parties also. Michael says, uh, forgive me, brothers and sisters. For sure, no problem. All right, TNT, you apologize. Cool. Kato, what up, Kato? He says, I came across Mo mode three the other day and was listening it started to have me in a sad painful mood i had to turn it off mode three wasn't that the guy that was killed michael says i apologize everyone on the chat for tony to read those lyrics <laughs> it's, it's all right it's all good it's all good we need to pray for the children to be careful what they listen to we as holy people need to be careful what we watch it's all good no problem he says, Blicky is not a safe name, I see. No. No. You know what I mean? No. But they call themselves, you know, Blicky. Nas Blicky. Nick Blicky. You understand? If if you don't know what a Blicky is, huh, huh, that's, that's the term they use in New York. The Blicky. You know? All right. He says, Erica Badu said she is a witch. Wow, what's up, the prodigal son? Shout out to you. <laughs> what up? Hope all is well. Y'all funny tonight. <clears throat> um, He said, did you ever had a female celebrity crush? Yeah, I did. I did. I used to be interested in Gabrielle Union. I used to love me some Gabrielle Union. You know what I mean? I used to love me some Gabrielle Union. You know? And I used to say, listen, when I become this big time boxer, <laughs> you know, I have some leeway to get in contact with her. You know what I mean? But some years later, she started messing with the Wayne Wade. You know, but my thing, I'm not interested in celebrities in these days. Back in the day, we know we used to have some type of likeness to us celebrities. The ladies used to like Nelly and Bow Wow and B2K and all that other nonsense. You know what I mean? The ladies used to have the, the magazines of them hanging up. Now look, all this exposure is coming out about individuals like that. You know? And you, and you think back to your past. A lot of y'all females had Omarion up, Bow Wow up, Nelly up, and whatnot. More, listen, Morris Chestnut up. You understand? <laughs> you know? But my thing was uh, Gabrielle Union, and then it was Ashanti. You know? I actually spoke to Ashanti one time, one time in my life. But she cool. She cool. You understand? One time. That's it. That's it. Uh, Jada Pinkett saw her one time. I mean, they're cool in person, but that doesn't that doesn't um, outweigh the stuff that they into. Not at all. You know? But I don't have no celebrity crushes. Not interested in these days. <laughs> None. You know, run away for show. Sure. Run far away. All right. Um, what's going on? 
Let me see what's going on. Prodigal Son and um, TNT. What's going on? I'm, I'm just now looking at the comments um, and whatnot with y'all, too. <laughs> I don't know what happened with y'all. You know? All right. Um, Jinju says, Ratchet Woman, bad hammer time feet. You says, beard or mustache are a big turn off. I said what I said, and I ain't changing it. Understandable. Understandable for sure. All right, what's up to G Money? You says 90% of black men that try to make it in Hollywood or do make it in Hollywood all do unethical things to obtain a bag. And at the end of the bag is taken back by the ones who fronted them. Um, it's sad. Wow. That's crazy for sure. I don't I don't know what oh he said they were sparring. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. He says, uh, Tisha Campbell from Martin Show for me. What? Tisha Campbell? Wow. <laughs> Tisha Campbell? Wow. <laughs> he said, I missed that boat. Nelly got her. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> What's up, The Express? What's up, The Mo uh, Cherokee? Shout out to you. All right, we're going to end it. I thank everybody for tuning in to this conversation. Regular conversation number 40. I definitely appreciate all the new subscribers coming to this YouTube channel. Thank you. I definitely appreciate it uh, for sure. You know what I mean? And all the other new subscribers that come to this channel, you know, when we had the conversations, you yeah, definitely can um, interact. And we definitely have uh, if, uh, good conversations and uh, we interact with each other um, and whatnot here on this YouTube channel. And then we go to the other channel to play the truth of God my prime member YouTube channel. So Lord willing, um, they go live on Sunday and we uh, we broadcast them um, for sure. All right? So I'm going to read off some more comments and then we're going to knock off. Um, She just wasn't my type of woman <laughs> at the time. Um, Tisha Campbell. You know? All right? Appreciate that at, uh, classified information. All right. God bless to everybody out there. I'm Tony Harbin. I'm signing off. I hope everybody have a great evening. All right. Appreciate all y'all. God bless. Peace. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harbin, and welcome to the Tony Harbin Network YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here. After you hit the subscribe button, if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell.